All right, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go back to our roots and talk about WPF. I haven't done a WPF video in a while. I've actually forgotten a lot of WPF, which maybe isn't good, but maybe this is a good refresher for me. And today we're going to talk about maapps.metro, which is a styling basically for WPF to make your apps look a little more modern and a lot better in my opinion. And if you like this kind of content, I just find out different things in code and try to learn. And as I learn, I like to share it with you guys and hopefully that benefits us both. And if that sounds interesting, feel free to subscribe. I will try to remember, and hopefully I do, to put Ma App's website URL down in the description below. Actually, let's go back to the homepage here and you can see an example of what their styling can do for you. This is completely free, completely open source. You can find all of the code hosted on GitHub. And this is just an example of how we can turn a basic WPF app into something a little more modern. And I expect us in the future to go through documentation and talk about different aspects of myapps.metro and what you can do with it. But today we're just going to strictly set this up for the future. So we're going to get started here and I'll link this down in the description if you're following along. And I'll actually uh, bring up Visual Studio 2019 here, which is what I'm using. And we're going to search WPF and start our WPF app. I don't know why. Oh, okay. There it is. So we search WPF. Here it is, WPF app using the .NET framework, which is what I'm going to use. We'll hit next. And let's just call this um, Ma apps, I guess. I'll hit create and I'll create our basic WPF app. And the next step is we want to bring in myapps.metro into this application. So I'm actually going to change this to a vertical split because that's what I prefer. And maybe zoom in a little bit on this. Before we add myapps.metro, I'm just going to put a few things just so we can see the before and after. I'm going to put a button and it's going to say something like press me exclamation point and let's give it a height of 50 and a width of 100 and then let's also put a combo box let's also give it a height of 50 and a width of 125 and this isn't going to line up right, so really we should put all of this in a stack panel. And the orientation is going to be vertical. And I'm just going to put this button and combo box inside of the stack panel, like so. And let's put some combo box items inside this combo box. So combo box item number one is just going to be the number one, and I'm just going to copy this. And you can choose not to do this, which is perfectly fine, because this is just me showing you once it's set up the before and after. So obviously, if we start this, I'm going to save, and I'm going to start. We saw in the preview window, but this is what it's going to look like. It's pretty bland, pretty basic. And of course, you know, how we aligned everything is not very pretty. Um, this is just, like I said, for demo purposes, but this is what it's going to look like. So keep that ingrained in your mind so we can have a before and after. And now let's pull in uh, myapps.metro. So we're going to go to tools and then NuGet package manager and manage packages for the solution. Manage NuGet packages for solution. And we'll go to browse. I'm just going to type in myapps like that. Here it is right here, myapps.metro. And I will say, we want this installed to this project. So now that that's installed, I'm going to close out of this package manager and I'm going to go to the main window and the base class is window, but now we just want a Metro window. And it's not going to know what that is. So I'm going to hover over it, hit the little uh, light bulb here and bring in this namespace using myapps.metro.controls. So now the Metro window is our base class instead of just window. And that's all we need to do in the code behind for the main window. There are a few more things we need to do here, but really I'm just going to copy and paste some things from the start guide. So we'll go down a little bit. Below they should have 
we will do this part next. Add some things, add some resource dictionaries of the controls and the fonts and all the color schemes and stuff um, later on. But first, we want to bring in the namespace for this in the main window. So I'm going to copy this first one right here under using the metro window. And I'm going to add that to the namespaces up above. And then lastly, we're going to do ma colon metro window instead of just window. We'll hit save and you can see uh, if we run it, it's not going to look any different. Actually, it looks worse because <laughs> we have it black and then these combo boxes and buttons don't look any different because we didn't bring in those resource libraries that I saw earlier. So now I'm just going to copy from resource dictionary to the closing resource dictionary like that. Go back to our app. And then we're going to go to app.xaml, open that guy up and put it right between application.resources open and closing tags. Go ahead and hit save. And now if we go back and we start up the application, actually one thing I wanna show you, notice the themes, the theme setting right here. You can see the theme is named light.blue.saml. So if we start it, what do you think the color scheme is going to be? And if you say light blue, you'd be correct because that's the color scheme. Now we have a nice little title, it's all blue, and I have this combo uh, box. But you can see if I hover over it, we get a nice little blue tint whenever we're hovering over. And then the button actually looks a little nicer too. But now we have kind of confirmation that this is indeed working because this looks totally different than it did before. So I don't know what this application is going to be yet. I haven't gotten that far, but I'm kind of leaning towards just a basic task list. And then if we want to extend upon that and plan things out or whatever it may be, um, we can do that. But I didn't want to make it too crazy because really we're showing off more of the my apps. We're not showing off the app itself. I just want to show what my apps can do to make styling a lot easier and a lot nicer. But the main takeaway from this is my apps is in my mind, like the bootstrap of CSS, right? It's just a bunch of predefined styling that you can use in your WPF app to make it look better than just the default stuff. So definitely stay tuned. I'll probably put all of these videos, if you're watching a long time down the road, into a playlist so you can go through them sequentially as we go along. And hopefully you're excited for this. I know I am, and I hope to see you in the next one.